be a do-it-yourself video where you can customize your own shirts. And we're gonna make them super cute. I'm totally feeling the boho vibes. That's why I wanted the shirts to like represent like the bohemian style. I would absolutely love it if you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more of these fun videos. All right, so now let's get started. I'm so excited to announce that, that Nordstrom Rack is working with me and supporting this video. The first way to customize your own shirt is to start with a top of your choice. I'm choosing this tank top and now you can go ahead and cross straight across to make the fringes but instead I use this cardstock to help guide me where I'm going to cut the strips of fabric. That way it looks so much more flattering because it's in a V shape so it makes you look a lot slimmer and it just makes you look longer. So then I'm going to go in and cut those strips smaller and it's a lot easier to do it this way instead of just cutting really small strips from the beginning because it just makes them look a lot even and then you're gonna go ahead and stretch those babies out that way they're longer and they look prettier and there's no fraying involved especially if you kind of cut one sideways I am guilty of that then you're gonna go ahead and put those towards the back so you can do the exact same thing to the back side of the shirt but you don't have to flip it over or anything like that and you can go ahead and cut this section out before you start cutting but I didn't like the bottom I just didn't like how it looked so I just cut those out and now let's move on to the next step which is decorating your shirt which is pretty fun. I found these at the craft store and they are iron on so you're just going to place them where you want them to be, what pattern you want them and then you're going to take the iron over them, follow the instructions with what they say and then I went ahead and I flipped it over so I can iron the back as well and they're permanently on there now. And this is the final result. I love how fun the shirt is. It's bright and it has like fringe on them so it gives you that bohemian style. And you can pair this with pretty much anything that you like. Everything that you guys see here is from Nordstrom Rack. And I'll have links down below where you guys can find each piece because I'm absolutely obsessed with them, especially with the shoes. to our second DIY and I'm going to start off by cutting off the sleeves off a shirt. This could be any t-shirt of your choice but I do want it to have some wording on there so I'm going to make sure that it doesn't have anything in the front. You can do this with a rock band t-shirt if you'd like or anything like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and I'm going to make sure that I cut the other sleeve just as even as the one I did first and it just saves me so much time I don't have to measure anything and now I'm going to cut the bottom. I'm going to leave two triangles in the front so that it can make a cute little knot and then the back of the bottom of the shirt I'm just going to cut straight across that way you have these two little triangles in order for you to make a knot. So now it's time to add a cute quote to your shirt. It could be a quote, a saying, or you could just leave it blank if it is like a graphic t-shirt that you already own. And I want mine to say dreamer so I'm just following the instructions that came with these letters right here which told me to iron them on and then I just simply peel it off and it stays up permanently on there. And once you are done, you can simply add a knot at the bottom, which makes this crop top look so much cuter. And this is probably my favorite outfit out of all of them. I love the colors. Everything that I got is also from Nordstrom Rack. And I just love how everything paired up. It looks so cute together. And you could even wear this with a simple pair of blue jeans and still look super cute. We're just having fun. We're on the run. Next DIY is also one of my favorites because it is so easy to customize and I'm sure you have a graphic t-shirt laying around somewhere that's oversized and you just don't wear it. So we're going to make it a lot more fitting and look a lot cuter too. So I just went ahead and I cut the sleeves and I don't like measuring. I just, I'm, I'm lazy I guess. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the sleeve and then put it on the other side so I'm cutting it out evenly. And then you want to carefully cut the back so that that way the collar is still attached on there but you want it to look like it belongs there. Does that make any sense? 
Then what I'm going to do is just cut that last strip in three separate pieces so we can braid it. And what's going to make it a lot easier is if you go ahead and stretch the material first, not only is it going to give you an additional amount of <laughs> um, fabric to be able to braid, but it's also going to look a lot nicer and help you out. So then you're just simply going to add a braid on there which is so easy and fast. And once you're done braiding it, you're going to pull it again one more time. That way it doesn't scrunch up and you can easily wear it without the back lifting up. So that's really important. Then I'm just going to grab some of my hot glue which this is actually fabric glue. So it's going to adhere to fabric and it's permanent. Believe me, this is what I use in all my projects and I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to make sure that the crisscross of the braid stays really well together. So I'm just going to put some glue in between and then I'm going to go ahead and add some more glue at the top and make sure to put it right in the center of the other section and you're done. Super fast, super simple, no sewing involved and it's super easy to pair with anything in your closet. Links to all the outfits will be in the description box below and I also want to thank Nordstrom Rap for working with me and supporting this video. I would absolutely love to hear your opinion and let me know in the comments below which of the outfits is your favorite or which shirt you'd like to do yourself. For tips on how to layer on jewelry and for another Bohemian lookbook, make sure to head on over to Nordstrom Rack's YouTube channel and subscribe because I have another video on there. I'm so excited for you guys to check it out and I will see you in my next video, which is this, Mwah!